Okay, here is my the front of my upper cabinets all done. This is just a decorative piece I'll put in afterwards. I'll attach it with these three uh, support beams. And these are the doors. I'll go on like that. So today I'm going to paint. So I got this really pretty, look at that color, navy blue. So it's called uh, Royal Navy. So I'm going to get to painting that now. And my van is getting the sunroof in as we speak. So I'm super excited about that. All right. up my this is my kitchen cabinet just getting ready to put another hinge on and this wasn't at all what I envisioned but it sure is fine with me <laughs> I like seeing the hinges I think they're pretty um, so now I'm working on the spice rack right here and so I'll do a time lapse on that but I'm basically just taking some of the, the herbs and um, spices that I use the most and I'm going to put them underneath here and so I'll be drilling a hole here and then screwing a little just one of these tiny little screws that I had from before in the very center spacing it far enough away so that they don't jiggle and they're pretty sturdy actually it's not moving very much so I'm going to um, put a screw right through the middle there and then I just take the jar and screw it onto the lid and it'll hang just nice. So I'll get to that. Okay, now that I have the lids on my herbs and spices screwed in the bottom, and you know I did stagger the back herbs so that I can see from the, you know, when I'm cooking up here I can see through which ones are back there by the label. So I also made some room in case I wanted to add some. And now I'm going to take the same kind of um, contact paper that I did those boxes in, my leftover, and I'm gonna put a, a contact paper covering over my wood and because I'll put dishes and stuff up here. So if there's any water on them, I don't want them to get into the wood. So I'm gonna do that now.